Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Takesha and today we are going to be slaying this deep curly wig and putting some highlights in this hair and just making it look bomb AF. So let's get started. So this is hair from My Chic Wigs and this is their packaging. It comes with an instruction manual on how to take care of the hair properly and it also comes with a rat tail comb and as well as hair clips and an elastic band to secure your wig. It also comes with two nude wig caps to put under your wig, which is great. This is their pre-plucked Brazilian deep curly hair in 18 inches and a 150% density. And this is how the hair looks right out of the box, super curly. And this is the parting space on this wig. And if you look closely, you can see that the top half of the knots on this wig are slightly bleached. But I'm still going to go back with my developer and my bleaching powder and just go over those sections again and just bleach those knots to how I would just prefer them to be so that there's no black knot showing whatsoever. I'm going to leave this on the hair for about 20 minutes and then rinse it out with my Shimmelite shampoo. So now I'm going to pluck the hairline and I'm going to use a setting mousse to just push back the hair a little bit so I can kind of see what I'm doing better. And I'm going to part the hair in the front and just pluck behind the hairline and you know, I'm sure you guys have seen a million of videos of how people pluck their hairlines on their wigs or their frontals. So yeah, this is what I'm doing. This is my method. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off these combs because they're annoying and this is how the hair looks after it is air dried and I'm going to take this quick blue powder and 30 bottom developer and I'm going to bleach highlights into my hair so I'm basically just separating the hair and taking random chunks of hair and applying bleach to them so I can create this highlight effect to my hair. And I'm just randomly feeling out which parts of the hair that I want to bleach. I don't really have a strategy. I'm just randomly selecting hair pieces. And some pieces are bigger than others. And some chunks, I didn't really bleach all the way up to the root. I just maybe bleached about halfway or maybe just the ends. I just did them very differently so I could have like different looks throughout the hair. So this is how the hair is looking all dry with the bleach all over the strands of the hair and I'm going to leave that in for about a half hour before I rinse it out and then I'm going to wash it out with a shimmer light shampoo and then I'm going to leave that shimmer light shampoo in the hair for about an hour and by doing this I didn't really have to tone the hair because I got a lot of the orange brassiness out of the hair by leaving the purple shampoo in it for a long time. So here's how the hair is looking now that after it's been air dried and now I'm going to cut the lace and try to style this bad boy. So I kind of did a lot of the styling and cutting of the lace and the baby hairs off camera because I am terrible at doing that. But right now I am going to just secure my wig by putting some free spray onto my edges and just securing that by blow drying the area so it can stick on. Now I'm sure you guys seen this method so many times and this is the method that I prefer to do so I always just do this. I rather doing I rather do this than the got to be glued method. After that I go in for my baby hairs and like I was saying before, like I'm having a really hard time trying to perfect my method of doing my baby hairs I don't know what it is but I cannot perfect it but you know I just gotta practice and whatever just know that it was a struggle but I used some setting mousse to try to mold my baby hairs and I guess I ended up with a decent result after the struggle for so long <laughs> So now I'm going for a middle part. Yes, I know I'm boring. I don't care. I always do a middle part, but you know what? It looks the best and it's safe. 
it doesn't look wiggy on me and what I'm gonna do is just flat out the top a little bit with my hot comb just a little bit at the very top so I can just have a flatter look at the top and not have it be so bulky and then I'm gonna spray this hair down and because I plan on cutting it eventually to make it look shorter and cuter and I'm just going to detangle and just do my thing So this is how the hair is looking after with no product and you can see that there's a lot of areas in the hair where it's longer than the rest of the hair. So I'm going to cut off these straggly ends and just make everything much more even. And so this is how the hair is looking now. Yes, I am loving this length right now. And I'm just going to go back over with my spray bottle and just dampen my hair and just use some holding mousse just so I can hold the curl some more and minimize the frizz on this hair. And this is the final product. Yes, I love, love, love this look. It is giving me Beyonce vibes. I freaking love this hair. The curls are so defined. And I would definitely recommend using a product on this hair so you can have more defined curls and less poofiness and frizziness. And I decided to do some cute little hairstyles for you guys so you can see how you can style this curly hair. And if you guys are interested in this hair, all the links are down below with all the details. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!